Have you ever wondered what would happen if we were hit by a dinosaur-wiping asteroid today? Well, the spectacle would start with a streak of light in the sky as the asteroid, about 6 miles in diameter and traveling at a speed of 20 miles per second, hurtles towards Earth. The moment of impact would be cataclysmic. Imagine an explosion creating a fireball so intense that it would incinerate everything within a thousand miles. Almost instantly a shock wave would radiate outwards flattening forests, cities and anything else in its path. But that's not all. The force of the impact would also release an amount of energy equivalent to billions of atomic bombs. This energy would set the sky ablaze, and a wave of intense heat would sweep across the planet. In this apocalyptic scenario, the Earth would be reshaped and life as we know it would be drastically changed. In a blink, the world as we know it would be engulfed in a cataclysmic firestorm. But what happens after the initial impact? Well, the immediate aftermath would be catastrophic. The shockwave from the asteroid's impact would spark wildfires, engulfing the world in flames. These fires would be so vast and intense that they'd release an enormous amount of soot into the atmosphere. This soot would form a thick, dark blanket, blocking out the sun's rays. Without sunlight, our planet would rapidly cool down, causing an abrupt and extreme change in climate. But it's not just the cold we'd have to worry about. This lack of sunlight would also halt photosynthesis, the very process that plants rely on to grow and produce oxygen. With photosynthesis at a standstill, plant life would start to die off, leading to a cascade effect. Animals that rely on plants for food would starve, and those that rely on those animals would face the same fate. This chain reaction would result in a mass extinction event. In the wake of this devastation the Earth would be plunged into darkness and cold, a stark contrast to the fiery chaos just moments before. But what about us humans? Could we survive this apocalyptic event? Let's delve into this. The immediate threat to human life from the initial impact is quite severe. A colossal asteroid strike would cause widespread destruction, leading to immediate loss of life. But the danger doesn't stop there. The impact would trigger significant environmental changes. Imagine a prolonged nuclear winter, where dust and debris block out sunlight leading to a dramatic drop in temperature. This would disrupt the food chain, with plants dying off first, followed by herbivores, and finally the predators. So, how could we survive such drastic changes? One potential strategy is using underground bunkers. These could shield us from the initial impact and provide a stable environment amidst the temperature fluctuations. Stockpiling food would be essential, as agriculture would likely be impossible for quite some time. Lastly, our technology could aid in survival, from purifying water to generating power. The odds may seem stacked against us, but human ingenuity and adaptability could be our saving grace in such catastrophic events. As we grapple with this grim scenario, it's important to remember one thing. Life on Earth is incredibly resilient. Throughout our planet's four and a half billion year history, it has weathered five major mass extinctions, each one wiping out a significant portion of life. Yet each time, life has bounced back. It took millions of years, but after each cataclysm, the planet recovered. Simple organisms evolved, diversified, and eventually gave rise to complex life forms. Biodiversity flourished again, painting the canvas of Earth with a myriad of life forms, each more unique than the last. In the face of calamity, life doesn't just end, it adapts, evolves, and survives. It's a testament to the sheer tenacity and resilience of life. In the grand scheme of things, Life proves to be tenacious, resilient, and most importantly, enduring. Even in the face of a dinosaur-wiping asteroid, life, in one form or another, would find a way to carry on.